Conveniently close to San Antonio, Dallas, and Houston, Waco has made a name for itself for its charming dining and shopping scenes, as well as a ton of family-friendly things to do, making it a great destination to visit or settle in and put down some roots. Built in 1968, the Rangers Museum contains tons of historical antiques and exhibits ranging from the service's role in the Texan War for Independence, the Mexican-American War, and tracking mobsters during the public enemy era. There's over 200 years of legacy here, and I wonder if Chuck Norris will be in today. Let's go find out. In 1964, there was a group of uh, gentlemen in Waco. They went to the state and said, can we have a museum dedicated to the Texas Rangers being the oldest state law enforcement agency in America? And they said, yeah, we can do that. Both Walker and the Lone Ranger, one of the reasons why we get a lot of people coming into the museum, they've seen those characters on TV and now they want to learn about the real history of the Rangers. Hi, ho, Silver! All right, Lone Ranger was a little bit before my time, so sorry if I butchered that. But I look great, don't I? Now I'm feeling a little thirsty, and I know just the place to get my hands on Waco's most famous export. That's right, the unofficial soft drink of the state of Texas was created right here in Waco all the way back in 1885. That's before Coca-Cola, and in fact, it's the oldest soda still in production today. So, you're welcome, America. With 160,000 visitors last year, it's one of the biggest attractions in Texas. Inside, you'll find exhibits about the history of the iconic brand, family-friendly activities, and of course, a soda shop. It started in a drugstore, um, but we like to think the Old Corner Drugstore was special because we had a guy working there named Dr. Charles Alderton. He was the pharmacist there, but he really enjoyed stepping behind the soda fountain and mixing flavors for the local citizens. The most popular drink that he mixed was a blend of 23 different flavors, and originally it was just called the Waco. After it became really popular, they decided that it needed an official name, and so they named it Dr. Pepper. What do we have in front of us? So this is our specialty here. This is a Dr. Pepper float. Okay. Um, the base of it, as you can see, is vanilla ice cream, but specifically homemade vanilla ice cream from Bluebell. Oh, yeah. Then we have a hand-mixed Dr. Pepper. Oh, that's good. The Dr. Pepper float is really, I think, the ideal thing to get when you come to the museum. To get the lay of the land, we took to the water with a leisurely cruise down the Brazos River with Waco Tours. This tour is unlike anything you'd expect. It starts off with a short drive that feels more like a party. We're pumped to have you guys. <laughs> Of course, a tour is only as good as its tour guide, and fortunately for me, the guides at Waco Tours are the best in the business. Captain David over here, he said, you know, all these people are coming down to Waco. He's like, who is showing all these amazing people our wonderful city? So he's like, well, let's just give him a little tour. We started with one van, and now we have a river cruise. We're gonna have a blast. All right, everything we did today was absolutely amazing. I had no idea all this existed in Waco. This is just day one of our trip. Tomorrow's day two, and I promise it's gonna be just as amazing as today. So I'll see y'all later. After a great first day, we are off to day two of our trip. And first up, we're kicking off the day by taking in the sights at Waco's beautiful Cameron Park. And to show us around, we met up with park ranger Kim Jennings. Cameron Park is one of the most beautiful places I've ever visited. I'm blessed to be able to work in this park every day and interact with people and share everything that there is to do in this park. We also have an amazing trail system. It's natural, it's a, it's a natural surface trail. Um, they wind, they twist, they turn. It's, it's an adventure in there. Yeah, this place sounds absolutely amazing. So these trail systems, I've heard a lot about them. They're actually ranked nationally. It is recognized nationally now. Uh, the Department of the Interior recognized it as a part of the National Recreational Trail System. That's so cool. We we're quite proud of that. Yeah. It's an amazing place. And if you visit Waco and you have not seen 
Cameron Park yet, yeah. you're, you're missing one of the best parts. You've got to stop by and see. I love it here. It's, this, it's is my, this, this is home. This is home. This is home. This is home for me. <laughs> With 416 acres, this natural sanctuary is an urban oasis for visitors and residents alike. With towering trees, cliff top river views, a zoo, and 15 miles of trails. After leaving Cameron Park, we decided to catch some of Waco's scenic views by doing one of my favorite outdoor hobbies. All right, we are in Texas and all of us Texans love our horses. So we are gonna do one of my favorite activities ever and we're gonna go horseback riding right here in Waco. Razzo's Bluffs Stables is family owned and operated, taking its riders to some of the most beautiful areas in Texas. This massive ranch takes you right to the east banks of the Brazos River through natural wooded valleys with views of the gorgeous high bluffs. Welcome back to Yellow Texas, where Ariel is in Waco touring a historical site with an amazing story. So I'm here at the Waco Mammoth National Monument, which was added to the National Park System back in 2015. And it's home to some incredible fossilized creatures, which I'm way beyond excited to go see. It's hard to imagine today, but back then, Texas was home to herds of Colombian mammoth. Scientists and volunteers uncovered the remains of 16 separate mammoths, and today the excavation site is preserved and viewable from an elevated walkway. So these are all real fossils. These are the real thing, exactly where we found them. We haven't moved a thing. And that's over 67,000 years of fossils right in front of our eyes. Yes. So when did the digging start? When did this all happen? In about 1980, okay. active excavation began and continued roughly throughout all of the 80s for about 10 years. Ultimately, uh, Baylor University uncovered 16 Colombian mammoths. Oh my yes. gosh. And this is right here in Waco. The most, one of the most important fossil finds in the world is right here in Waco. Next up on our Waco adventure, we took a trip to the hill country for an amazing glass of wine. So we have made it to Valley Mills Vineyards and let me just say, Napa has nothing on this place. It's absolutely gorgeous. So what do you say, let's go find ourselves some wine. Ariel, welcome to our beautiful estate vineyard. Thank you so much. It's absolutely breathtaking up here. Thank you. So we're at Valley Mills Vineyards. We are just about 20 minutes west of Waco. And this is where we grow our grapes that go into some of our state wines, such as this lovely Tempranillo. Oh, OK. Well, can I try some? <laughs> of course, please. Our Viognier is going to be a French grape from the Rhone Valley region of France. Okay. Oh, it's delicious. It's really nice and light. This is something I think of with uh, kind of at the beginning of a meal, kind of with appetizers, hors d'oeuvres, things like that. This next one up, this is going to be our Vermentino. This is kind of an Italian dry white, Ooh. generally known for being a little bit creamier. That was, can I have a bottle? <laughs> Seriously, we'll get you one to go. Seriously, Please. it's great. This is our GSL Grenache Syrah Lenoir, three grape red blend. I feel like that would pair well with a steak. It does. Steaks, chicken, any kind of red meat really, or barbecue. Cheers. So for our final warning here in Waco, we wanted to showcase another major attraction of the town, which is shopping, and it also happens to be my favorite pastime. And all of that brings us here to Spice Village. It was a dream of mine to always have a store. 
and I never really imagined that having a store would have turned into this. I just thought it would be fun to have a, a little store and a really unique shopping experience for our locals. 21 years later, we're one of Texas' shopping destinations and it's been great. Overall, our time in Waco has been unforgettable. This beautiful city always amazes us with everything it has to offer. I want to give a huge thanks to the city of Waco for inviting us back to look around. If you've got a weekend to spare this fall, definitely put Waco on your list. It's truly the heart of Texas. Planning a visit to Waco? Go to WacoHeartOfTexas.com to learn more and start your adventure today.